<laughs> it's good to see you again. Flower looks very appealing because you're getting two hits from the Flame Waker on the on the coin, and then you can just finish off whatever didn't die. Of course, bad RNG can happen, and we'll see if Orange is able to to get himself the good things or not. Oh wow, perfect wow. things! And that's the reason Kalento lost the board. RNG. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll remember that one for a while. And now damage on a minion. The Shredder obviously is going to tank that, and Orange gets oh. bad RNG. Well, it's about time. Yeah, he had, he had his good RNG for the day. Yeah. I think Kalento needs good RNG. I mean, it's not so much that everybody needs to stop having good one as much as Kalento needs to have his. Oh. All right. Still fine for Orange for Far. Frostbolt. Oh, Mirror Entity. Mirror Entity's fine. Uh, you know what? That's interesting. I think Frostbolt was definitely a justifiable play, but now Kalento gets to do what he wants. So he does have a kill in the Flame Waker after all. I think actually Frostbolt was better there because it protected his Flame Waker, gave it the Divine Shield, and then the weapon can't swing at it. But the problem Kalento kind of has here is a clunky hand, really. He gets a Blessing of Kings, which is nice, which is a 5 5, but he's amazing. Those secrets and not thinning your deck when you play the 6 drop is a little bit of a problem. Actually, I like the Fireball here more because he just wants to keep something on the board to maybe challenge a Noble Sacrifice. If he if he had traded in with the Flame Cannon and Noble Sacrifice came down, he'd have to spend time uh, dealing with Summoning Sickness from his minions before he can attack. So this way, uh, if Noble Sac does come down, he can use the 1-1 to clear it, and then his Drake will be safe. Uh, well, Kalento will uh, just play all the secrets. This is a trinity of secrets. Mages have Mana Worm, Sorcerer Apprentice, Flame Waker as their trinity. Paladins have these. But Orange has some great responses. He's to got removal more than he even needs at this point. And he has um, some card draw as well with the Azure Drake, so he's not running dry yet, uh, whereas Kalento's just top decking after all these secrets resolve. So Kalento will lose the 2 1 to the thing, will lose the 4 3 to a Frost Bolt. Yeah, he needs a bit more of the push through. No abusives. Uh, he'd need a Blessing of Kings, maybe a True Silver to deal with another Noble Sacrifice. Wow, off this, the top. this is exactly textbook uh, why some people think Secret Paladin was overrated at first. It still works out more than average, um, but sometimes you just get those awful draws. Oh, just play Mana Worm first, check yep. for Repentance, then go for Dr. Boom. And uh, wait. Yeah, you don't even have to use your Isha Drake here. You can just sit here and let a Boombot tank that Noble Sacrifice. Dr. Balanced, straight in the middle, and down goes the Challenger, doing basically nothing. Kalento just concedes. He's like, you know what? Um, there's no point to going through the motions. I know I don't have any secrets left. I don't have any combination of any.